Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Nikon, Ozonics, Redneck Blinds, Rocket Broadheads, RTP Outdoors, Trophy Rock, Spot Hog Releases, Wilderness Athlete, Viking Solutions, and Realtree. back on that same bedding ridge that I hunted yesterday when we spooked the lone oak buck. We're about 40 yards, 45 yards from that tree stand where, where we were trying to hunt him. The wind is different today. It's more from the southeast. Yesterday it was kind of north, more or less straight north. So all we've done is just move to the other side of the top of this ridge. The ridge is pretty narrow here. There's a draw that comes up in front of me, and there's a draw that comes up on the other side. And they sort of oppose each other on the ridge top. So all the deer that are following the ridge, they'll contour around and they tend to, they tend to uh, bottleneck or uh, concentrate as they're moving up, up and down the ridge right in this area. He was spooked, no doubt, but uh, I don't think he was spooked bad. And if we get a hot doe in this bedding area, I guarantee you that that buck is going to be on the move. They just can't resist that stuff. He's going to forget about seeing Drake on the ground yesterday immediately if he smells a hot doe. So that's what we're hoping for. And that's what we're hoping for every day when we come out here and hunt during the rut is that we've got a hot doe someplace nearby. So it's going to be a chilly morning. Uh, we're dressed for it. We're going to stick in as long as we can. We've got big plans for this afternoon that I'll talk about later. It's a beautiful morning, gosh, it's just perfect, classic November 10th rut hunting morning. I think the thermometer said like 15 or 16 degrees. The wind chill is supposed to be single digits. Um, wind hasn't kicked up much yet though, so it's not particularly cold. It feels pretty good actually. We're gonna wait, see if the old lone oak buck makes a reappearance today.
didn't see a whole lot this morning. Bit of a disappointment from that standpoint. And we've talked to, uh, I guess, texted back and forth and gotten information from a few other people that we aren't the only ones that we're having a slow morning here. I guess we've seen two cruising bucks and a few does just moving through and then one distant chase. So that is not enough for the 10th of November to make us happy. So we're going to go out this afternoon and we can hopefully get into something a little bit more exciting. We're going to go to that spot that we call the plow down plot. And we've always needed a, a south wind to hunt that. Well, we've got southeast this afternoon and that's going to be close enough, I believe, to keep our scent from blowing into the plot and send it out over the field behind us. Either way, we're going to be in a redneck blind. We're not going to be out here in the wind freezing like we have all morning. So from that standpoint, it's going to be enjoyable whether we see anything or not. As promised for the afternoon hunt, we're going to head down to the plow down plot. This is probably one of the best afternoon spots that I can think of on the farm. It's a little small secluded big and beastie plot down in a valley surrounded by doe bedding areas. A spot that we probably haven't hunted for 10 days to two weeks, somewhere in there. And uh, we did not alarm any deer when we were there last. So it should be full of, of naturally moving deer. It just depends on you know, what the mood of the deer is today, but there's no reason why they would in any way hesitate to come out in this little small food plot during daylight. I'm not exactly sure what bucks are going to be roaming this area, but I would think that uh, we're not too far off the range of the lone oak buck. And there's another one that we've called tight rack 10. He's been known to be right in that area too. And then you just don't know with all that timber surrounding it, there could be other deer that have moved in for the rut that we're going to get a chance to look at tonight too. The only real trick we got on the way in, there's one little stretch that I I didn't get mowed where we've got to walk through some tall grass and weeds, but I brought a secret weapon along. So we're going to be able to uh, hopefully get in there without leaving any human scent in the grass. We don't want to give the deer anything as they approach the plot that would set them on edge. And uh, hopefully before it's over with, we can uh, show you something interesting. We've made it through the first three hours of our four hour sit without seeing a buck. We did run one off the plot when we came in. But since we've been in the blind, we haven't seen a single buck. We've seen two does and a fawn. Pretty slow going so far, but this time of the year, and as thick as it is, at any second something could step out of that thick brush into this food plot. So we're not going to fall asleep at the wheel here. We're going to stay focused for this last hour, see what comes out, and uh, we'll show it to you in the rest of the video blog here. Looking at the weather forecast, though, it appears that it's going to be good seasonal weather all the way through. I don't see any real warm spell coming. So traditional rut hunting strategies should work. I mean, the same stuff we've been talking about. Spend as much time as you can around the places where the does are concentrated, and then eventually you'll be there when one of them comes into heat. The estrus doe, that's the key to this stage of the rut. If you've got her nearby, 
you're going to see quite a few bucks, and if you don't, you might be pretty dead. So good luck, and I'll see you back here in a couple of days.